Hey everybody, it's Audrey from the craftycardcupcake.blogspot.com and I want to share with you my stick pins that I made for the Christmas Winter Wonderland, I think it was, themed uh, swap, stick pin swap on mini album scraps. And this is probably my one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. Um, I love Christmas and I... Really? kind of got carried away with this so I'm gonna so this is how it's displayed and I made more than enough stick pins you were only supposed to make three stick pins but we were watching a movie that was really boring and which movie was it? it was called catfish do not watch catfish if you like it great it wasn't our style style but it was on our Netflix so anyways um so I just was making stick pins and I kind of got carried away I fell away. asleep during it and I thought, well, it would be okay to give people extra stick pins for the holidays. So let me take this them out. Don't stab yourself. And what I did is, this is one of the chipboard books from Michael's in the dollar spot. And I just took it apart, you know, took the ring off, and used them as kind of like tags. And I just painted it with some green paint that I had, sprayed it with a little bit of iridescent gold, or cactus gold, I think it is, Lindy's. Outlined it with some Studio G stickles. Lindy, Lindy Stamp Gang. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, scrubby, go scrubby. And again, your birthday. I was looking in the like miniature Christmas tree decorations, and I found these stars. Oh. So that would be perfect. And then this little garland, I just hot glued. So, and then I had these at home already. They were little presents that I don't know what one year I bought for something. It's supposed to be my Christmas present last year. <laughs> and they're styrofoam. So I thought, well, that's perfect to stick your stick pins in. So it's a Christmas tree with presents at the bottom of it. Aww. And then I made six stick pins. So um, this one, it's got kind of like the bluish color pearls. And the focal point is an, a sparkly dress it up snowflake button. Dress it up. Which is cool because you, it just slips right on there. So there's that. And then there's this stick pin with different blues reminding me of ice. And I took a couple jump rings and used these light charms to dangle from there. Okay. That. This is my favorite one, I think. Well, favorite of the blues. Um, I like this big, huge square button, or I mean bead. It's a glass bead from Hobby Lobby. And then another dress it up snowflake button. You get a lot in a package, so. And just some different beads there, different glass beads. So. No bling. Mm, not really Not bling. really. And then this one has like a diamondy. Bling, bling. A little bit of a blingy top, and then some bead caps and just pearls that are in different sizes. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. And then this blue one is got a teardrop faceted acrylic bead, but these are glass beads here. And this wouldn't necessarily have to be used for Christmas. I mean, if you like blue, then you like blue, you could use that. And then this is my favorite of the red and green one. It's, um, I like these beads that are like glittery with holes in them. They're really tiny. They're from Hobby Lobby. And then I used a couple jump rings to have a jingle bell on there. And the big pearls with one of these kind of, it's flat, uh, iridescent bead there. And I th think that's from Michael's. I'm not sure. Mike's, I'm sorry. Everybody Pretty sure it's, it's Mike's. Mike's. And then that little bead down there. So those are my, we were only supposed to make three, but I made one, two, three, six. six. So it's a bonus for people for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. So hope you like my stick pins. Let me know what you think, or if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.